One of the goals of Columbus's newly created Concerned Citizens Crime Prevention Task Force is to address the continued problem of gang-related crime in the city. WCBI Stephen Pimpo talked with the Columbus Police Chief Fred Shelton today about those efforts and joins us now live from the Columbus Police Department with the story. Stephen? Joey, as Police Chief Fred Shelton reminded me today, gangs themselves aren't illegal, but the crimes that they may often commit are. That's why he himself is on one of the committees of the Crime Prevention Task Force to look for other avenues and solutions to the bigger problems that may push some to join a gang. For Columbus Police, the problem of gang-related crime is nothing new. We are aware that there are gangs in Columbus and we've been responding and doing that for years now. This, this, is not, this is not a new phenomenon. Police Chief Fred Shelton says that officers remain vigilant in regards to illegal gang-related activity. When we identify people of that nature, then we, 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 got a, we got a file that we put them in and we monitor their activity. When it comes to the gangs themselves, Chief Shelton says officers focus on investigating the crimes first before looking at any possible connections to various groups. When you start talking about criminal activity, that can, that's a wide range of things depending on the agenda of that particular club or, or social club. And while Chief Shelton says Columbus's gang issues are just like any other cities, he wants their solution to stand out. The new Concerned Citizens Crime Prevention Task Force features several committees that are designed to help people find alternatives to getting involved with a gang. Those committees deal with employment. We're trying to find jobs for people that have that have a criminal past and to get them to work in. Education. We have an educational committee where we're helping those that, that don't have a GED. Or and youth activities. This youth committee is working on finding active sports activities and other activities to keep these people off the street. Chief Shelton also says they continue to emphasize community policing and are working with area organizations to identify children who are most at risk. We're working with the Boys and Girls Club, we're working with other youth organizations in identifying children that might be susceptible more peer pressure than others, and we're trying to find a reasonable alternative to them. Chief Shelton told me that before COVID hit, they were working on creating a police youth sports league. Now, as the committees and the task force continues to work together, they'll be finding more and more solutions to these problems and to make the community a safer place. Reporting live in Columbus, Stephen Pimpo, WCBI News.